I want to talk a second about attractants and cover scents. You know, cover scents and attractants are two totally different categories as far as I'm concerned. A cover scent is something that I'm trying to, to put on me to make the deer know that I'm not there. And an and attractant is something that I'm trying to bring a deer out of the brush to find me, to find the location that I'm at because they think it's a hot doe or a, a buck that's kind of moved into their area. And each one of them can be used in similar manners, but they have distinctly different times of the year that I really focus on them. For me, I pretty much never go into the field without some sort of cover scent, uh, and you'll see it if you ever watch watch me hunt it or see pictures. It's going to be, you know, a lot of times you'll see the stink sticks uh, tied to my backpack, or you'll see me dig them out of my backpack. And when I do, I'll get to a stand and I'll basically unscrew this part right here, and it drops down, and then I'm I'm taking this and just hanging it from somewhere around me because I know that wind's always going to be changing. It's going to be going different directions. As the wind comes through, hits the wax and moves it uh, out into the area that I'm trying to, you know, basically get a cone that if a deer comes from that, they're not going to pick me off as easy. I love to use these really year round, but my early season hunts, September, October, early November, and when I moved back down into Texas to hunt, I think they're crucial in those bow hunting, handgun type situations there when, when game's up close. I think attractants, the ones that were touting and using, you know, live doe urine that were working from a farm, a deer farm, and bringing that out and putting it in their products tended to be the best. They tended to be more accurate. And Conquest is, is the leader, in my opinion, of that type of technology. They've got their own deer farm. They're bringing, uh, you know, the doe and heat and the rutting buck type scents right out of those deer, right when it's happening. And they've got a formula to be able to put it in a different type of deployment uh, system so that we're going to get the benefit as hunters out there. This remote control system right here that Conquest has where I can put it out and push the button and it blasts VS1 out as, as into the air. And at first I was a little skeptical about it, how that would work. But after I used it in some field testing, I mean, I literally had bucks walk up to it and start sniffing it and, you know, almost licking it like a lollipop and then go out and chasing does all the way around it. So I know that it works. I know the scent that they've applied in there really works because I've, I've seen it firsthand. So regardless of which type of application that you're using, there's no doubt that cover scents and attractants used in the right situation, uh, presented out there and, and put into play in your whitetail hunting deals is another tool that's going to help you possibly find success.